Have you been wondering what's been going on with the Yarslow YouTube channel lately? So have I. Let me tell you. Hello. I've been aware that it's been some time since I've done an update to the channel, so I thought I'd take an opportunity to say hi to all those people that watch the videos and to give you an update on where I am with the new Yarslow layout. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you'll know that I've updated a series of videos on the house renovation and also on designing a model railway system. But the house renovation videos have now been moved and they've all been taken off to a whole new channel. So don't worry about those anymore. And you'll notice if you've watched the um, railway design series that I'm using a track plan of something which I keep saying this is what I want to build. Well, the time is approaching when that layout is actually going to get built. So what I thought I would do in the next couple of days is to post the introductory video to that to show you where I am right at square one. This also gives me an opportunity to talk about what I'm going to do with the channel. Now I'm going to post essentially um, three different types of video. I'm going to start with layout features. Now I'm not going to do a video on how to lay track and make trees, um, but what I will do is I might talk about the electrical installation in the shed, that is the mains electrical installation in the shed. I might talk about why I'm doing what I'm doing in terms of baseboards, um, the electrical systems on the layout, all that kind of thing. So a bit more th why I'm doing things as opposed to how I do it. Now, again, um, it may not relate specifically to your layout and what you're trying to do, but if, if I sort of prod your mind and say, well, have you thought about this? It may well be that you, you set off on a train of thought and it makes you evaluate what you're doing. And that's happened to me whilst I've been putting this plan together. Um, I'm part of an online forum and people have been saying to me, well, have you considered sight lines? No. So I've started to think about something which previously I hadn't thought about. Um, the second type of videos I'm going to do are, I'm going to call bite-sized. And these are going to be little snippet videos, they may only be a few minutes long, looking at specific small things to do with the layout. So. I might do one on each of the classes of locomotive that run on the layout. So a very, very brief potted history on each of the classes that I've got. I might do one on LNER locomotive classifications, A3, B1, J6. What are, what are the letters actually mean? I'll certainly do one on things like um, colours and markings of BR freight stock. Um, I might talk about what cab control is. So little snippets, just little things that you can dip in and out of. So rather than put all that in a 35 minute video and you have to wade through to find the bits that you want, you can go straight to that bit on locomotive head codes or you can go straight to that bit on why a passenger train looks the way it does. Then I'm going to do some longer ones. This is the third element if you like. Some longer videos. Um, the layout plan in detail. Um, the design philosophy, some of the thinking that's gone behind the design I've got. Now, this is not the sort of stuff I've been talking about necessarily in the um, design theory. This is where I'm coming from in terms of one-man operation, in terms of where I'm coming from for things like um, couplings, in terms of uh, the look that I'm trying to get, and why I'm building the layout that I'm building, those kind of angles, that's, that's what I'm going to approach. So hopefully you'll see that there's um, the content that's coming up on the channel over the next 18 months, two years or so, is going to be a whole variety of stuff. That's what I'm aiming for. Um, and hopefully there'll be things in there that are of interest to you. It's not just going to be a blow-by-blow -blow account of how I build this huge, great layout. I'm interested in that. I doubt that anybody else is going to follow me all the way through that. But there's some things that might be of some interest to everybody. And hopefully you can dip in and out of that, as I say, and use what you like. In the next couple of days, I'm going to post the first video on where I am with starting the new Yarslow layout. 
um, I'm just putting the final footage of that together. So that's the track plan and, and the shed and one or two other bits and pieces. Uh, if you want to see the sort of things that I model, there is plenty of videos on the channel uh, to go back and have a look at. That old layout, unfortunately, no longer around. But the new one, you can bet your life it's going to look much the same because my modelling standards are what they are. If you're new to the channel, then please um, find down here somewhere, there is a, a, a red subscribe button, push that. And obviously as new videos come up, um, you'll get a chance to see them. Hopefully you'll find something that's of use, for, use to you. I have been rather consumed over the last eight months or so with a move from London up to Merseyside here and a renovation of a house. That renovation goes on, won't be finished until Christmas, so the chances of getting into the shed and doing any modelling before the new year are remote. Um, if you're married, you'll understand how that works. Get the house renovation done first, then I'll go and do some railway modelling. Um, that's how the life is, isn't it? Thank you for sticking with the channel over this barren period. There's videos to come, so stick with me. See you soon.